Oregon Voodoo Donuts here in Portland, Oregon. I'm Mark Oldman. By the way, this donut is called the Voodoo Man Donut. Uh, absolutely delicious. Almost Mr. Bill-like in its stance. But let me tell you, I don't like, when it comes to wine, I don't like the donut version of wine. And the problem with a lot of Chardonnay out there is it gets over oaked, too much exposure to oak barrels. And it becomes a little too sweet, a little too rich, a little too heavy. And that's why you're finding a lot of people kind of swearing off the, the Chardonnay types that are big butter bomb Chardonnays. Um, you find that a lot in Australia, sometimes in Napa Valley. But I say, please, do not give up on Chardonnay. And in my new book, I talk about a different type of Chardonnay that I call low or no oak Chardonnay. And those are kind of like the lean, streamlined hound to the big Tibetan Mastiff that is the, you know, these over oak Chardonnays. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm in Oregon to show you this is, um, a great unoaked Chardonnay. It doesn't say unoaked. By the way, usually on bottles it will say unoaked, unwooded, even naked to show that it doesn't have a lot of oak. This one actually, it's a little more cryptic, but very cool. This is from the Oregon winery Shehalem, and it says Enox. And Enox is the French term for stainless steel. Stainless steel telegraphs that they're not using oak. Okay? Screw cap. We love uh, our screw cap. This is it avoids the problem of cork taint, and mwah, I love my screw cap. And then you pour this unoaked Chardonnay. Look at that! It's like a Oregonian Alpine stream, pure. Check that out. And then you swirl it. I'll let a little splash out because we're friends here. You smell it, and that is absolute purity. Apples pears, maybe a little bit of watermelon. You taste it, and this is not a leaden, weigh me down milkshake or donut of a wine. This is a nimble, light, vivacious, crisp, mouth-watering white. It would go so well with locally caught um, Oregon salmon, wild salmon, or really any kind of richer fish It would pierce through, uh, or shellfish. So when you're thinking about Chardonnay, before, you know, dismissing it, remember, one, Chardonnay is one of the most noble grapes in all of the world. It might be the most noble white grape. And then two, there are styles, not just in Oregon, but around the world, Chablis in France, um, lots of unwooded styles in New Zealand and Australia that aren't saddled by oaky strangulation. I'm Mark Oldman from weird and wonderful Portland, Oregon, begging you to drink bravely and to poo shit.